Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the trapezoid and its properties. Let us define what is a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a parallelogram with exactly one pair of parallel sides. So let's have our illustration. We have this para, uh, trapezoid A, B, C, D. By definition, A, B is parallel to D, C. In our trapezoid, we have what we call the legs, okay? We have legs. The legs here are AB and BC. We also have the bases. In our trapezoid, the bases are the parallel sides of the quadrilateral. In this case, we have AB and DC. Okay. And we also have the base angles. Base angles. So notice that in our trapezoid, we have four angles. One, two, three, Four. And that is what we call the base angles. So in this case, we have BAD, uh, or simply angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D. If you want to name it into three letters, so we have angle DAB, angle ABC, angle BCD. And angle C D A. That is the legs, bases, and the base angles, the parts of our trapezoid. We also have this special kind of trapezoid, which is the isosceles trapezoid. An isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid whose legs are congruent. So that means the legs are equal. And we have its properties. Number one. The base angles are congruent. And second is the diagonals are congruent. So another, in this case, whose legs are congruent. So if we're going to draw our isosceles trapezoid, so we're going to use this one. This is space. So our legs are congruent. And base angles, so this angle is equal to the other base angle, and this angle is also equal to this angle. That is the isosceles trapezoid. And if we're going to draw the diagonal, they are also congruent. Okay, that is the isosceles trapezoid. Now, to better understand, let's have our example number one. Example number one, use diagonal. Uh, use the isosceles trapezoid DEGH -E to answer the following. Letter A, name the legs of the trapezoid DEGH. -E so our legs are, so letter A, ED or DE and GH. Letter B, Name the bases of trapezoid DEGH. So our bases are EG and DH. Letter C. Name the base angles of the trapezoid DEGH. So our base angles are you can name it into three letters. So we have DEGH, angle DEGH, uh, angle DEG, three letters, angle EGH, EGH, angle GHD, and angle HDE. H D E. Okay. So E G H D. Number four. Name the diagonals. Diagonal E H.
and DG. Letter E. EH is congruent to, so EH is a diagonal, therefore it is congruent to other diagonal, DG. So EH is congruent to DG. F. Blank is congruent to ED. Where is ED? So ED is one of our legs, therefore it is equal to GH. G. And angle DEH, where is DEH? DEH is congruent to angle GHE. Angle G, angle G. Okay. So our reason in this case is um, this is parallel. So if this is our transversal, alternate interior angles are congruent. So let's proceed to our example number two. Now let's have our example number two. In trapezoid PQRS. Measure angle R is equal to 100, and measure angle S is equal to 5x plus 35 degrees. Find x and the measure of angle S. So you study our trapezoid. In our trapezoid, we know that QR is parallel to PS. And properties, our properties in quadrilateral, Consecutive angles are supplementary. Okay, so consecutive angles are supplementary. That means measure, measure angle R plus measure angle S that is equal to 180 or 180 degrees. Now substitute the value of angle R that is 100 plus Measure angle S is 5x plus 35 is equal to 180. Now we have 5x, 100 plus 35, that is 135, is equal to 180. Now 5x is equal to 180 minus 135. So 5x is equal to 180 minus 135, that will give us. 45. So divide by 5, x is equal to 45 divided by 5, that is 9. Now after finding the value of x to get the measure angle s, that is equal to 5x plus 35. Then substitute the value of x. So 5 times 9 plus 35. Now we have 45 plus 35. And that is 45 plus 35, 80 degrees. So measure angle S is 80 degrees. So to check, 100 plus 80, that is 180 degrees. Now let's have our example. Now let's have our example number three. TUVS, TUVS is an isosceles trapezoid. If measure angle U is equal to 14x plus 13 and measure angle S is equal to 13 plus 8x, find measure angle V. Now our given is an isosceles trapezoid. That means Base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So U is congruent to T and angle S is congruent to angle V. Now our given are the opposite angles. 
So, if we're going to add the given, the measure angle S plus measure angle U is equal to 180 degrees by substitution. Now, measure angle S is equal to 13 plus 8x and measure angle U is 14x plus 13 is equal to 180. Combine like terms, 8x plus 14x, that is 22x. 13 plus 13, that is 26, is equal to 180. 22x is equal to 180 minus 26. 22x is equal to 180 minus 26, that is 1. 154 154 divided by 22 so x is equal to 154 divided by 22 that is 7 so x is equal to 7 we know that Angle V, we know that measure angle V is equal to measure angle S. Base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So measure angle V is equal to measure angle S. Our angle S is 13 plus 8x. So 13 plus 8 times our x is 7. So we have 13 plus 8 times 7, that is 56. 13 plus 56, that is 69 degrees. So measure angle V is equal to 69 degrees. That is the trapezoid and its properties. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.